Hi there friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. Today we're going to be playing with the Spellbinders new Glimmer Ferns plate. This is such a pretty plate and I'm just going to show you a very simple way to use it. Um, and just imagine the color combos as we go through this. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to play this at normal speed. I'm not going to speed this up at all. As you can see, I've already plugged in my Glimmer Hot Foil system and we are going to be using some dark navy cardstock. I'm going to be making a 5x7 card. I just felt like this fern would just go beautifully on a 5x7. So I've pulled out my quick cutter and some gold Glimmer Hot Foil. And this quick cutter, I have said this a thousand times if you've watched any of my videos where foiling is involved. I can't live without this now that I have it for sure. I like the nice straight cut that it will give you when you use it. So uh, that's what I'm using. I've cut that down to be big enough to cover my foil plate. And we are going to be using like the, um, the hinge method. Well, not really the hinge method, I guess. I'm basically just going to tape it on down. So I've got my cardstock. I've put my foil there. I'm going to manipulate the foil around so that it can completely um, take that entire foil plate. I'm going to put that down right onto my cardstock where I want it. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of mint tape and we're just going to tape that down into place because I want to make sure that everything stays where I want it to stay. I probably should cut down that foil, but I'm not super concerned about it. So we're just going to leave it as is. So again, just using a piece of mint tape down here and then we'll use a piece of mint tape up top. Now, the funny thing about keeping my video at normal speed is that you get to see just how slowly I create. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I've gone ahead and put that down on top of our Glimmer Hot Foil system. We're just going to let that heat up. But in the process, I have cut down some gold foil cardstock. This is going to be slightly smaller than a five by seven, about four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And I don't want to use the whole piece because a lot of that's going to be covered. So I'm going to cut out the center. Uh, gold foil cardstock is a little bit more expensive than regular cardstock, um, at least the stuff that I use. So I want to savor as much of that as possible. And heck, you could do this for any of your layering pieces as it is and save cardstock if you're trying to find ways to save money as a crafter. That way you have more money to spend on stamps. <laughs> so I've cut that centerpiece out. We'll save that for something else. And then I've brought in this die set. This die set was released last month. This is the Thanks and Close Sentiments, so we're obviously going to use that. And because I'm not exactly sure what color I want it, I'm going to die cut both the shadow and the, the word itself out of both gold foil and some white cardstock. And I've run my system since it was all ready through my machine. And take a look at that. No overfoiling. That worked out really beautifully. This is not like a smooth cardstock. It's just a regular card piece of cardstock. And then because you don't want to burn yourself, you just got to be really careful um, in peeling off your foil and your mint tape and everything else. So uh, I'm going to let that cool down a little bit, but I love, love, love that gold on that dark navy. It's so classic. So classic. Now I did take my Hello, the white one, and I ran that through a sticker maker. I just preferred that over having some glue potentially seep around with that gold cardstock. So I'm just placing that on top. And manipulating the word so that the shadow and everything is all lined up correctly. Uh, as you can see, I obviously decided to do the white on the gold. And I think in the end that's going to look super pretty against that gold and uh, navy um, patter, uh, panel. So here's the panel. I really think it's beautiful, but I think it needs a little something extra. So I'm going to bring in some gold paint and I'm going to splatter that background with some gold paint. I'm just going to take a little bit of water and put that into my gold paint, put my panel into a makeshift splatter box, and then take a very small, fine brush, and I'm going to splatter that gold paint all over that background. Splatter can cover a multitude of issues, but it also can cover up a lot of in this case, navy space instead of white space. So I just felt like this really added to it and it matched beautifully. So I'll show you here in a second how gorgeous that looks all with that splatter and our fern background. This panel is just stunning. Next up, I want to ensure that that splatter is completely dry. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit that with our heat tool 
and then we can start assembling. So now because I wasn't 100% sure if that gold was completely dry, I'm just putting glue on my gold panel and then I'm going to stick my navy panel on top of that. Also that way I'm getting glue just where I want it. And then I have this nice beautiful gold um, background. It just looks so good. There's just something about navy and gold. It's so classic. Yep. See, I'm trying to be really careful. Make sure that, and the gold paint is dry, but uh, you know, I've thought things like that were dry before and then they weren't. So then you get it all over your hands or you smudge it. And I just didn't want that. All right. So I have decided that our base is going to be a white base. And I think that's really going to draw out the white hello. So we'll go ahead and put our liquid glue all over our panel. And then we'll attach that down to our white card base. And there'll be a nice white border for our card base as well. Again, not 100% sure that everything is nice and dry, but it is. It's dry. I just, you know, you get burned once, right? And you just think, don't want that to happen again. So we'll take our liquid glue and we'll adhere down the word hello. And then... I do want to finish off the inside with a couple of the panels. So I've got a little bit of that gold left over. So I'm going to stick some of that down at the bottom. And this isn't doing a lot to the inside. I feel like this would be, since it just says hello, this would be a great correspondence card. For somebody that you maybe haven't talked to in a while and you just want to write a little letter to them, um, you know, maybe you're not on social media with them, whatever the case may be. But I feel like this is a very good, like, write a legit letter inside. And then I'm going to trim off the excess because obviously that hangs off the edge. And then once I am done with that, that's actually going to finish off our card. I decided not to add anything else to the outside. I just love the simplicity, but the elegance of this card, it just makes my heart so happy. And again, this is a new glimmer plate. I'll have it linked down below. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.